Hello YouTubers and everybody on the Cody forum this is Lats and today's video is going to be a how-to on installing the Aeon MQ7 Krypton mod and the Leia mod. I've had a lot of requests to uh, create this video and like I said on the last video I posted I'm gonna take a break from updates uh, post this video to uh, to help people out I know there's a lot of people having trouble with uh, just various things, artwork, the NFO files, uh, your ratings showing up on the dialogue video info, and I just want to try to cover everything I can think of. I've, I've uh, written myself a little guide to follow. Uh, I think I've got everything covered, uh, but we're going to get into this and uh, try to help everybody out, get everybody as close to 100% on this skin as as I can. I know there's a lot of functionality, a lot of uh, external add-ons that need to be installed to get everything to uh, to work and look right. But I'm on it. We're gonna we're gonna get there. I'm gonna try to get you there with this video. Uh, it's probably gonna be a pretty lengthy video, uh, so I will have some links in the description where you can follow to uh, to certain sections of the video. First, we're gonna do Krypton. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install uh, the version that I have here right now, 1.4.0.10, from a fresh install of Kodi, and then we will uh, upgrade to the new version uh, that I have available, uh, posted on the Krypton Mod forum and my Multimod forum uh, thread that I was talking to Emerales, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce his username, but he has uh, turned over uh, control, if you will, of the of the Krypton mod uh, to me. So I'm going to start uh, producing updates of the entire skin, not just the multi mod, but uh, the multi mod will be part of the Krypton mod, just like the Leia mod has all of the multi mod included. So the next version uh, you will see when I post on the thread will be version 2.0.0.0. And uh, that will be in my repo. Uh, we'll get into that a little later as well. I have uh, a new version of my repo that allows you to install or update to a newer version. I've tested this with Krypton and Leia both, and everything is is looking good. I've tried over and over to just to verify that that uh, this works, and I, so far it's been successful. So. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, have everything available on my repo now when you want to uh, install or upgrade. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get over, go over to my virtual machine. I've got uh, Krypton and Leia both installed on this. So we'll start with Krypton first. Uh, the first thing that you want to do before we install uh, the Krypton mod is download Marcel Velt. Again, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but you want his repository. He has uh, some things, uh, some add-ons that are required by the skin, and you need that repo installed before you install the skin. So go ahead this link, follow this link. It'll be in the description of the video as well, and click right here to download that repo. I've already got that downloaded, so we're going to go, go ahead and open up Krypton. And first thing we're gonna do, go down to add-ons, and we're gonna have to turn on the unknown sources. So you go up to that box, open box there, go down to install from zip, and we're gonna turn on unknown sources. Say yes. Back out of that. Okay, now uh, the first thing you're gonna do, like I said, is install that repo. So I've already got that downloaded. that right there okay so his beta repo is installed now we can install uh, the last version that Emerald has posted the 1.4.0.10 so we're gonna install from zip again and you can download that uh, from his uh, forum thread I'll leave a link 
to that in the description. I've already got that downloaded, so we're going to go to that right there. And we'll let this run. This is going to take a few minutes to download all the dependencies it needs. So uh, I will meet you back here in a few minutes when that is done installing. Okay, guys, uh, the skin is installed. So go ahead and say yes. Say yes again, and we'll let it do the initial set up here uh, this so this is is missing some things right off the bat uh, with this version your uh, the, the color picker is not installed yet the uh, the a on MQ themes that add-on is not installed so we're gonna get in to the uh, my repo and the new version 2.0.0.0 I added some requirements to that so that when you install that version you will have the majority of everything you need will already be installed with that version so uh, just for example I added the the uh, auto completion for virtual keyboard the skin helper service color picker the skin helper service skin backup the skin helper service widgets the skin themes for Aeon MQ, the studio icons colored. And with Leia, uh, we'll get into that uh, here pretty quick. That also adds the up next, the new up next add on as well. So all of that will be available. And you can see, I'll just show you, for example, right now, if you go into skin settings and you go to themes, the only theme available right now is the pumpkin. So you could go here to get themes and manually in, uh, install that, but you don't have to do that. So what we're going to do is go into, uh, we're going to install my repo and go in there and update to this new version and I'll show you how that works. So we need to go to file manager, add source. cancel that right there okay so link the URL you're gonna type in here is HTTPS colon slash slash holybid.com slash Cody slash repo and like I said if you had uh, the old version 1.0.7 installed uh, oh, maybe I didn't say that on the previous section of the video Anyway, if you had 1.0.7 of my repo installed, go ahead and uninstall it because I had to I had to rebuild the entire repo to get this uh, to work. And we're going to just give it a name. So .lats. And then you can check that if you select that, you can see now it's it's uh, the URL is correct. Just a quick way to verify. Okay. So like I said, if you had 1.0.7 of my repo installed, just go ahead and uninstall it. We're going to install a new version, the 1.0.8. And so go to add-ons, install from zip, and then we'll choose .lats. Go into the lats repo folder, and there is the repo, 1.0.8. Okay, now you can see currently downloading add-ons. If you click on that, it's already gone out and detected. Uh, you see down at the bottom there, it's version 2.0.0.0. So as soon as you install that repo, it goes out and sees that that version is out there and it starts downloading it. So it's gonna, you're gonna see all of these additional add-ons being installed uh, after it downloads the mod. So I'm not gonna. We're not gonna sit here and, and watch that again. We'll let it go through uh, all the updates, and then I'll meet you back here again when this version is installed. Okay, 
we're back. Uh, it's finished updating from the repo. So you can see now there's nothing in the currently downloading. Uh, but if you do see, you click on recently updated, you can uh, see that it uh, downloaded that update to the Krypton mod. And you click on it and see now the version is 2.0.0.0. So you now have uh, all those extra add-ons that you were missing. Uh, you do see uh, your menu bar is missing. So with that version 1.4.0.10 of Amaralis, it did not have the uh, the menu bar selector code that I added to the multi-mod. So first thing we want to do is fix that. So if you go in to your skin folder, Click on 1080i, and we'll just open up the skin settings file. And we need to add the uh, the two. We'll just add the two default, the vertical and the horizontal menu bars, right here. So we'll copy copy that first for the horizontal bar. And now you want to go into user data, add-on data in the Krypton mod folder, open up your settings file, and you want to search for my menu bar. And you see that that string is empty. So we're going to put the MQ7 menu bar, and now we'll copy the vertical. And you want to go to my vertical menu bar, so we'll type that. Type it right. My vertical menu bar. Oh, maybe I need to turn that on first. So we'll go to skin settings, menu in vertical mode, reload that. There we go. My vertical menu bar. And we'll put the MQ7 menu bar vertical in there. And actually, we can't do that while the skin is open or it will overwrite what we just put in there. So let's go ahead and we'll shut down. And you see there that it tried to write to the uh, skin settings again. So we're going to say no. So we put those two in. We'll save. And then we will open up Krypton again now that we've added those and we should have our menu bar and there you go okay so you see on your skin settings now you can uh, cycle through your menu bars Okay, so the next thing, uh, the themes are now installed, uh, but you don't have uh, some of these themes, the holiday, and then we have some new ones, black, blue, orange, and purple. So we need to install those. So what we're going to do is go back to the add-ons folder, open up the a on MQ themes, the skin themes, go into resources, and you can see these are the uh, the ones that come with the add-on. Over here, I have all of the additional, the holiday, and then those four extra colored themes. So all you have to do is copy those and paste them all over. Okay, now you've got all your themes. So, we'll go back, and I don't think that it will pick that up. Oh, I was wrong. It looks like it does pick it up. Okay. So, you can leave Cody open, and it will recognize that you've added those extra images. So, you can change to the black theme. Okay. So, that is how uh, you can upgrade to my new version via the repo on Krypton. 
Okay, so this section of the video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Fresh, the 2.0.0.0 Krypton mod from a from a fresh install of Cody. So I've already installed the uh, the Marcel Velt repo and my repo, and nothing else has been done. I've turned on the uh, the add-ons, of course, where I can install uh, third-party add-ons so we're gonna go in install from repo go to my repo look and feel skin and we're gonna install Krypton mod uh, version 2.0.0.0 so you click on the skin click on install and it's gonna go out and download and install that this is the the actual version you see over to the left the release date is uh, March 2nd so what we're installing on this one is the uh, the actual uh, version that that you will get so I'll show you what it looks like uh, when we get back okay so the skin has installed uh, we're gonna go ahead and say yes switch to the skin say yes again and here we'll set up our applying the settings and you can see version 2.0.0.0 is installed and I need to change that release date that should be March 2nd so the version you're gonna get will be March 2nd but you're gonna see when this is done you have your uh, you men your menu bar is working and that's because this is the full version of the skin earlier when I updated to the skin it uh, it took it didn't have the settings in your settings.xml for those uh, the menu bar for the horizontal and vertical but with the full uh, version of the skin uh, that's gonna work just like it does in Leia so I'll just show you when to skin settings change to vertical mode and you see you get your uh, vertical menu bar so uh, this is a full full version it went and downloaded all those uh, dependencies it needed so you have your your color picker is already installed your your uh, backup your skin backup is uh, is installed the themes are installed you just need to copy the additional themes from that uh, download I'll make available so it this is pretty much ready to uh, to start customizing getting all your your get your API set up and then uh, move forward with a uh, artwork beef and all that that you need so that is all I'm gonna get and talk to about uh, the Krypton side and uh, we'll move on to installing fresh from the Leia and that'll come after I show you how to update to the new version of Leia on the repo I'll do a fresh install of uh, 1.0.1.6 of the Leia mod start Leia okay and then we're gonna have to do some of the same procedures to get going we'll turn on unknown sources oh forgot to turn it on okay so what we're gonna install first is version 1.0.1.5 of the Leia mod and you can go ahead and install the uh, we'll go ahead and install that Marcel Velt repository first off we're gonna need that anyway okay that's installed now we're gonna install the skin okay 1.0.1.5 and again it's gonna take a little while just like uh, the Krypton mod so I'll meet you back when this skin is installed okay now we have the uh, version 1.0.1.5 installed 
So we'll say yes here. Same thing, say yes. Let it do the initial setup. Okay, so we'll go in. So you can change, just want to show an example here. So if you turn on uh, vertical mode right off the bat, and we'll turn on the neon menu bar, when you do the update to the new 1.0.1.6, uh, it will not reset all of your settings here. So whatever you have set up here, so you know, most of you uh, should already hate be setting at 1.0.1.5 of the skin if you've installed the latest update that I posted. So, uh, you know, you can make a copy of your settings.xml file just in case, or, you know, export it with your, uh, if you have the, uh, the uh, skin backup add-on installed, you know, go ahead and export it or save your settings.xml file just, just for safety. But I've tried this a couple times, and and it doesn't override overwrite your uh, your settings .xml file. Okay, so now we are going to install the repo again. Uh, and one thing you can do, same thing uh, with. Leia, we're going to go in. You can go in and install your uh, skin themes. Oh, well, no, because we don't have that installed yet. So, okay. Getting ahead of myself here. So, first thing, we'll go ahead and install the, uh, like I said, we'll install my repo because my updated version of this will install all of those required add-ons just like the the Krypton version did. So we need the file manager. Again, holybid.com slash Cody slash repo and make sure it's working yep okay let's go to add-ons install from zip go to that dot lats and install the repo and it should begin downloading that new version as soon as you install the repo and there it goes okay so once again we'll let it download all of these additional add-ons that it needs and then I'll meet you back here when this is updated so to make a quick note here uh, once you're once it's through downloading uh, the newest the new version from the repo it's it's gonna go to this black screen don't don't freak out when your screen goes black for a long time here, uh, for quite a while. It's it has to go out and download that the skin themes add-on, and uh, some of them are pretty good size, like that skin themes and the uh, I think it's it's uh, downloading the studio icons, the colored studio icons. So some of those add-ons are pretty good size. So just give it time to go out and download and install all of those, and then you'll get back to that screen where it showed that it was currently downloading and you'll be back in business. So I'll get back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, now that you've uh, updated all of the required add-ons that uh, the new version needs, it won't update the skin. It'll, it'll update all of these add-ons and then uh, you can be able to come back uh, 
and it will show right there on available updates under my add-ons now we can finish installing the skin it's downloaded it into the packages folder in add-ons I'll show you so in add-ons packages if you look down here at the bottom it's downloaded the skin now all you need to do is install it so you just select the skin update and you see it's going to update to 1.0.1.6 so go ahead the screen will go black again like it, like it did when it was downloading all those add-ons uh, but this won't take long it just has to update all of your files from that from that uh, zip file that it downloaded and while you're waiting on that to uh, finish installing you could go ahead and go into your skin themes and copy all those themes again we'll we'll go ahead and do that while it's installing the the update where do I have those let's go to yep I want to do that themes Oop, not pumpkin Let's copy all these just a second to get all these copied and copy them over okay and we should be back yep okay so now you can see recently updated the last thing updated was the skin you select that and you can see that we're now running version 1.0.1.6 and uh, while I'm making this video this is just a, uh, a test video so you'll see uh, on the uh, the news down there on what's new I've just got I just wrote one little addition this is a test of the emergency broadcast system just verify that it's updated but you'll see all the uh, the new updates I'll, I'll have some additions and fixes and probably some maintenance uh, that will be available this is just a test to uh, to make the video to show you how this works okay so now that I've showed you how to update from 1.0.1.5 to the new version from the repo or uh, this is a, a fresh install of Leia again and now we're just going to install 1.0.1.6 on a fresh install I've already in, uh, added the uh, the two repos so we're just gonna go in install from repo look and feel skin and now we're going to install the Leia mod the new version okay so we'll install I'm gonna show the dependencies it needs and we're just going to let this go. It's going to take a while. Uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, we've got the skin installed. And we'll go ahead and say yes. Go through the initialization. Now you'll have, uh, just like the, the new update to Krypton, you'll have all of the add-ons uh, already available for you. Uh, you just have to do some of the same steps. Copy the themes over and then go ahead and finish up uh, some of the other add-ons you need artwork beef and and all of that so we'll let this finish okay I'm just going to show you real quick that you've got everything that you need just like I said, copy those themes. You've got your menu bars, and then you've got all of your add-ons you need. Okay, just want to show you that a, a fresh install of the the new version of Leia. Okay, we got the skin installed, and all the add-ons are available now. So we'll back out of here, and I'll show you that we're still. You see, we're still on the. Uh, vertical menu and you've got the uh, the pulsing neon bar 
so it kept your settings from 1.0.1.5 just wanted to show you that and then now that you've got all these extra the add-ons all the required add-ons like the uh, the color picker if you want to change the, the menu bar color you see you have that available we copied all those themes over so we'll go select the black theme again you see that changes so the the next thing you can install is the uh, colored media icons I have there's an updated version of that on my repo I had to add the uh, the mp3 uh, image and the WMA image both of those were were not displaying on the music player so we'll go back into my repo look and feel image collections and right there is the new version of the media icons the colored one so we'll select that you see it's version 0.0.9 we'll go ahead and install that and let's see what else we can do while that's downloading it won't take long let's go back and look at the so there's really not much we can we can do there's a couple of more add-ons that we're going to install these are our manual from the repo uh, the library editor and the skin info service both of those scripts are a manual install I just I didn't add those to the required because you may not want those you may not the skin info service you probably really need because it does display some uh, some metadata for uh, for music and, and movies so I could probably go ahead and uh, add that into the required I may I may do that before this is over the library editor script is not a must it's just a nicety to have so you can edit your uh, your movies and TV shows and, and music information from the library or from the, your uh, database straight from that library editor script okay so that is installed now what we're going to do instead of instead of in installing from the repository we're going to go back out and install from zip file because those the scripts do not show in in your repository view but they do show here if you go to the dot let's link whatever you name that and now you see down here script dot library editor we'll go ahead and install that just take a couple of seconds okay and then we'll go back in one more time go down to the skin info service and we'll install that take a few seconds okay uh, one thing that you might want to install it's not necessary either but it's it's something that I do use and I've seen a couple of people on the forum uh, discuss a, a way to play local trailers well this if you go into the Cody add-on repo and context menus this add-on right here extras this is one way to uh, to play your local trailers I'll install it and I'll show you how it works so you in each of your movies if you have some downloaded trailers or extra content the making of whatever other videos you can create an extras folder inside your movie and I'll show you we'll go to an example of that so videos movies so three days to kill I downloaded a trailer for that and you can see I've got the trailer and then it also has a uh, thumb file in there I'm not exactly sure why I didn't put that in there I don't think but maybe I did we'll go ahead and delete that so we just want the trailer in here for now and you could like I said you had other videos that you wanted to put in there you could go ahead however when you scan your library if you add have all these inside extras folder uh, when you scan the library it's going to add these trailers and other video content into your library as well but there's a way to uh, keep it from doing that before you scan your library 
I think I have on the desktop. So here's a copy of my advanced settings. Okay, let's close all those and go to advanced settings. So what you want to add to your advanced settings is this video info here. So see, it's going to exclude from scan your extras folder. So I'll uh, you can pause the video if you want to if you need to type that in. Uh, and I can also I could post that on the on the forum for the next update of uh, that might be easier. Just to add that, copy and paste that into your advanced settings. That way, when you scan for a uh, new content, it will not look in that extras folder for content. So that's how you do that. Okay, let's get back here to Cody. All right, what are we moving on to next? Let me what, look at my guide and see what I've covered. Okay, artwork beef. We'll go through setting up artwork beef. If you look on the forum, what you need is the the Rector stuff repository. So if you look for artwork beef on the forum, I'll post a link in the uh, description, video description, to uh, take you right to the artwork beef form you need to download his repo and install it and that is this repo right here the rector stuff so once you get that installed you can go in here to program add-ons and install artwork beef go ahead and run that okay so your artwork beef settings some of these are just personal preference however you want to set this up but I'll, I'll show you how some of this works there's quite a few settings that that uh, you can turn on I don't change anything on the on the general here well I, I do turn uh, make sure these are on add add the artwork for uh, for new videos and music after the library updates and it just automatically goes out and adds the artwork once the once the library is done updating so those two I turn on uh, TV shows, these are all, uh, like I said, personal. If you leave all those at one, however many of those that you want to uh, want it to go out and try to download, you may not get five, but you can set it, you know, to max out at, at five. And then down here, uh, I'll tell you by default, it set should come up as specific types below. If you want to uh, download the images that it finds to uh, your local files, you can turn that to all configured above, so it will look for all of these that you have enabled. Or you can, uh, if, if you go down here to TV shows, you want to select fill with all configured above, you can select that and it will add everything that you have turned on down there to TV shows and then you can say specific types below and it will look at those which you have filled in but I just set it to all configured above that way it uses whatever you've turned on and then same thing on movies now I add for this additional art types I've added animated fan art and animated poster but it doesn't appear that uh, that it artwork beef goes out and downloads those. I'm not getting them downloaded into my uh, movie folders, so something something I got to check on for that. I'm not sure exactly how that works right now. But you go down here and you see you have you can like I said you can set it to specific types below, and it will download all of those into your movie folder or you can just set that to all configured above either way and then music now this is where that new artist information folder uh, comes into play with your music that's this is not available on Krypton so only available on uh, Leia so all configured above it's going to download everything here your spine back thumb all this stuff you have turned on so uh, one more thing I want to show you before we get out of here on advanced so if you go down to the bottom of this 
artwork downloader created for your extra fan art it created an extra fan art folder so you have the option to use an extra fan art folder and where is that add on here I know it's down here somewhere here you go so I had turned that off that save music video artwork for some reason that that gets rid of the uh, the extra fan art options so you have the option to turn this on where it will download your fan art into an extra fan art directory like artwork downloader did I don't I don't do that it, it downloads it into the movie folder and that's good enough but you do have the option to uh, turn that on if you want to okay so that's all my settings that I set up for artwork beef so the next thing you can do is configure that uh, artist information folder for all your music artwork so you go up to media settings and music and one thing that that we do need to turn on is your uh, stand so we want to go to expert settings so uh, if you go I don't know how many if you know this or not but from your menu over here if you go left you can bring up your uh, settings for your uh, menu your op your level of access so I always just set that to expert you can see you have a lot more options most of you all probably know that already so we're gonna go to music and then this will be blank I want I set this earlier I had to uh, I had to make a few changes while I was making the video so this some of this is already set but this will be blank over there to the right so you select that artist information folder and then you choose I have it under music and then artwork you can have that wherever you want to on your hard drive so that will be a local uh, folder that it saves your uh, music artwork and inside that folder it will it will save the artist create a folder for the artist and then in under that it will make subfolders for all the albums all the artwork that it downloads for that and I'll show you how that works here in a second once we add add some uh, music to the library okay so you've selected your folder uh, the next thing you can do before we go out and scan anything we want to set up our API keys so I want to go down here so on the system go down to add-ons manage dependencies and then go down to metadata and artwork module and configure and your API keys right there so you want to enter all that in and I'm not gonna enter that in because you need to go get your own API keys so I will leave uh, uh, some links in the uh, the forum post on how to uh, go out and request your keys there's a there's a really nice guide on on uh, someone's uh, forum about their skin they typed up a nice guide I might find that and post that link on there as well it goes step by step on how to get all three of these keys so we'll go ahead and do that and I'm gonna pause for just a second while I enter my API keys and I will meet you right back here okay before we leave the metadata and artwork module part let's go back in there and something I want to discuss with the API keys so you definitely want your fanart.tv API and uh, sign up for that patreon API I've signed up for it I've had it uh, for over a year now it's a dollar a month you sign up for that uh, the one thing you don't need is this personal developer API key for TMDB I was not aware of that until about three weeks ago uh, that this this is not required uh, Leia has its own API that will go out and scrape the movie database and it can also scrape IMDB if you turn that on I'll show you how to do that here in a second but don't worry about this developer API you don't need that so let's let's go out of here and I will show you what I'm talking about so the movie three days to kill I cleared everything out except the uh, the movie file and the trailer so I went out and uh, 
let TMDB scrape update the library. And at first, all I had by default was the movie database rating. I didn't have any IMDB rating information. So what I did, I will show you. If you go to your file location where you have your movies, edit source, and just say OK. That's going to bring up uh, your information provider, which is the movie database by default. If you go down here to settings, you can also turn on add IMDB ratings. So you enable that and say OK and then OK. And it's not going to go out and scan again after you do that because you didn't change your information provider. However, if you go back to your movies, you can go to the information page, click on reload and say yes you're going to ignore and refresh from the internet it will go out to TMDB and uh, let you select that movie again so it will reload and it now it will add that IMDB rating information to your uh, database and then of course artwork beef goes out and uh, updates all the artwork again it'll pull it down into the folder if you've cleared all that out and then you can export that to a, a new NFO file and both of those rated TMDB and IMDB that rating information will be in the NFO file and I will show you see I don't have an NFO for that because I deleted it so just an example we'll go we'll export that one more time export the fan art overwrite files so now I have an NFO file hit it with notepad go up the top and there you've got your IMDB and TMDB rating information so uh, just wanted to share that with you that that developer API is not required okay so you get your API keys entered in there and let's see where we're gonna go from here okay so a few more settings uh, before we start scanning for music so let's go back we'll get out of here so we go to add-ons my add-ons we'll show all of them and then I'm gonna go up to get to the bottom okay so your universal album and artist scraper this is where you want to set up this is what it uses to go out and uh, and get all this artwork so uh, that first is okay under general and artwork I'll leave those as they are or oh, I'm sorry the here I've already set this up before too so by default I believe those three are turned off you want to turn these on to grab your disc art back and your spine images so that's what I set up here at the audio database.com that's and I'll show you uh, an example I've uploaded a lot of uh, back and spine for like Billy Joel and there's a jazz band I listen to Spyro Gyra I've uploaded a bunch of uh, imagery for uh, the like I said the back the spine the disc art and if you want to do that yourself you can create an account on the audio database.com and you can upload your own images to uh, albums that, that don't have any artwork if it's missing. And I'll show you an example of that here before we before we uh, scan the library as well. Okay, so we'll say OK on that. Artist Scraper. Some of these I've already turned on as well. Before, not here. So on your artwork, uh, all of this, these uh, the audio database links, I believe these are all turned off it probably looks like that by default I turn all those on so it'll go out and get all the artist artwork as well okay so we'll say okay to that let me uh, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about so I've got so here's the audio database.com 
and we'll look at a uh, Billy, this Billy Joe album. We're going to scan in uh, Billy Joe as our artist for an example. So I uploaded this back cover to the album, your back art, and I also uploaded... Oh, didn't mean to do that. I uploaded the spine as well. Let's see if we can go back there. Come on. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Let's try this again. Okay. So, there's the spine image that I uploaded. Okay, so, we've got that set up. Uh, we've got the artist information folder selected. I'm trying to think of what else we can set up here. Uh, one thing, I'm just, just thinking of it right now with, with music artwork. So, on your Skin Helper service widgets, go ahead and select that and select Configure. There's some options here if you want to hide watched items. You can turn these on or off. The one thing I want to show you though, under music, you want to enable artwork lookups. If you don't turn that on when you're on widgets uh, view for music, you will not see your, uh, your CD art. It won't display on your widgets view, so make sure you turn that on. Okay. So now I think we're ready to upload some music. So we'll go to music files. And go down here to music. Rock. Say OK. And add the music. It shouldn't take long. OK. So, we'll go up here to Artists, and I'll show you, let's change views here. Let's go to List 3D version 2 so I can show you uh, what this looks like before you, you go out and scan for all the information. So, from the Artist, if you want to bring up your Context menu, go out and Query Info. It runs the Universal Artist Scraper. To query info for the artist. Let it finish there. Okay, so now on your albums, uh, before I do that, I want to show you. So you see uh, the spine image for that is missing. You don't see your logo. You get your disc art in there. I think that's using the skin helper to, uh, to pull that. So we want to go out and do the same thing. We want to query info for all albums. You can see it's using the album scraper to do that. I'll let this finish. Okay, so if I go back, so now that we've got all that scanned, if you run your artwork beef. We'll go ahead and, and manually run that. And I'll show you before we do that real quick. Let's go to artwork. So you see the artwork folder is empty, but we have that set to uh, to download images into that so I'll show you when we run artwork beef and you want to add missing artwork for all music so we'll let it go out and scan so it's adding you see it's adding extended artwork for Billy Joel now it's going to go out and look at all the albums get some extended artwork so now you see in artwork so we'll go back there to Cody real quick. So 16 artwork updated. You see it created a Billy Joel folder. 
So now you have your artist artwork and you can change these once you get these downloaded like this this is not the HD uh, clear logo so we'll go out and I'll show you you can change this if you want to if you're not happy with that and so you see the album it went and downloaded the back image that disc art and the spine that I had uploaded to uh, the audiodatabase.com website so now you have that local on your drive inside that artwork folder so now when we go back to music we should see that spine see there's your spine and the animation should play I think we might have to yeah okay so we need to for some reason some of these artwork or the animations they don't work after you run that scan and, and uh, get the artwork loaded so we'll just shut down real quick and start X or Cody back up and we should have our animations we'll let it load the library status okay so we got that go to artist and show the album now the animation should work there it goes now you'll see the back and there it is and your disc art okay so that is how you get your artwork for music using the those two scrapers artwork beef and then you can see how it downloads locally and i'll show you another example there's another an innocent man you got your spine and then you have your back image i uploaded that to the the website as well so that's how it works for music i will uh i'm gonna take a little break here when i come back on the next section we'll move on to the movies okay so before we get into the movie section i did want to show you uh how to change your logo so you see the logo here on on uh, the right list view that is something new that's coming with this uh, update as well it will display that logo and so we want to change that like I said that's a standard an SD version so what you want to do is right click on your artist go to select artwork for artwork beef we're going to go down to the clear logo and select that you see there's five available so here's the HD I like that logo so uh, if that's the one you want you select that one then you see one artwork is updated and if you go out go away from that and come back it, well it should update that maybe you have to exit out of music and go back in that's exactly what you have to do so what that also did is change your clear logo image that it, it downloaded and overwrote your old one so now you have the new logo and now that you have your logo there you uh, you should have your logo here as well some of these albums do not have the back image so it should display well it's not displaying it yet it may take a few minutes to uh, scan all that in but you'll see the logo here as well okay so let's move on to movies uh, one thing I'll show you let's go ahead and clear out so movies the one I was using Empire Strikes Back you see I, as an example before it it's downloaded all this artwork so what I'm gonna do we're gonna go ahead and delete all of this key art and I'll show you when you scan that it's gonna download that all those key art images back into the uh, the folder once we scan it and let artwork beef do its thing okay so let's add our movies I don't have a lot of movies so this won't take long this is just just an example on this machine Go to videos and movies and we'll let this go in and scan going to say the directory contains movies we'll use the movie database 
and movies are in separate folders that match the movie title and now for your NFO files so you have this set as the movie database to go out for your information your metadata and all that so I'm gonna show you an example of the NFO file for Star Wars, Star Wars Episode 4 so I'm gonna show you that all I have right here is the movie database I've scanned this you know once before and exported these uh, so that's all I have for that movie episode 4 now for episode 5 let's go up to the top here you see that's all I have in that one as well so some of these movies if you have uh, your NFO file completely filled out with uh, with your rating information I think one of these is should have looked at that yeah so War of the Worlds you see I've got all the information from the last time I looked all this up online I went ahead and added all this rating information so when it initially scans it's going to look at all these NFO files and when we'll look at the video info page for War of the Worlds all of this should be there when it's done scanning it should pull all of that in so let's go ahead and say OK and let it add all the movies there you go it's, uh, so I didn't I wanted to show you what this does if you don't have that advanced uh, setting in your uh, in your advanced settings at XML, if you don't have that video information in there to block that extras folder, it scanned it. I saw it on there. You probably did too. So we'll let artwork be finish loading all. Okay, so 16 artwork updated. I'm going to show you one little thing about the those two Star Wars movies. It does not Cody does not import those correctly. It's going to give you a, a wrong title. I think it actually confuses. Uh, four and five with uh, with what they are so uh, I almost always have to uh, reload that information to get that to uh, to look right but let's go into movies titles so you see uh, extras that is just the trailer for three days to kill so that's what happens when you don't have your advanced settings file set up correctly it will scan that extras folder and you see it it starts playing that trailer so we'll go ahead and stop that okay so uh, the Empire Strikes Back so we'll uh, let's go ahead and go to the information page and it looks like this time that it that it imported correctly but I'm gonna go ahead and reload just in case because I don't trust it I've seen it do that before so we're gonna select that one from the list and let it reload okay so now our artwork beef is gonna go out and, and rescan so now it has the correct movie yeah it was it was mixed up with that one so we'll use that one as our first example so you see on your uh, your DVD case there on right list when you do a, a, a fresh install and you haven't selected your uh, uh, your case art it's it's not going to show anything so you have to select poster you see it didn't change but you have to select it kinda like Cody Flix is on your layout I'll show you that as well. We haven't I haven't done anything with Cody Flick, so you have to go in and select one of these first and then it will add that into your settings.xml and display that correctly. Okay, so before I get ahead of myself, uh what was I gonna show you? Oh, so we'll look at War of the Worlds. So you remember that NFO file had all of the rating information that I wanted to display. If you go to the information page, you see there that it imported all of that from the NFO so you get all that if you have all that pre-filled when you when you uh, create your library then uh, 
it will pull all that information and display it for you. So on this page, uh, your critics consensus, you see that's empty. That's where you need your uh, your library editor. So if you go down here to edit data, you have that library editor installed. I change that critics consensus to show uh, information from the plot outline. The plot outline is empty, so we're just going to type test in there. And we'll go back out and look at information. So you see now it's showing test. That is uh, one way to do that. Another way that you can do that is to edit your database and that's what I've been doing on uh, my other uh, Windows box I've been going through on my uh, on my main library and just going through line by line and adding the uh, critics consensus information so if you go to Cody user data database and open my videos and browse data <clears throat> excuse me go to movie so you see this column here C02 this is your plot outline so if I wanted to go in here and, and uh, change that if you go to Rotten Tomatoes I'll just show you this real quick as an example another way you can update that we'll look for War of the Worlds come on the movie and we'll copy the critics consensus take that space out of the end apply it write changes and we'll go back to Cody and we'll get out of here and I think if you go back into the information it yep there you go so we just updated the database to uh, to show the new critics consensus information so you can do that for all of your movies and, and then if you look at the so let's go back if you look at the NFO file for War of the Worlds that that is going to be empty well, I didn't want to do it that way. Notepad. Okay. So we'll go back up here. So you see outline. Your plot outline is empty. So what we're going to do, one way to, uh, to get that information in there, we'll just clean the library. Cleaning the database. Okay, well I misspoke. That's not what I want to do. That was that was one way to get the critics consensus to show. So to get that in there in the NFO, you want to go to your media oh, library and export your video library. Got ahead of myself again. Okay, so we're gonna do separate files. We're not gonna export the fan art and we are going to overwrite our old file so we'll let it do that now if we go back to the file uh, you see notepad detected that it was that the file was changed so we're going to reload it and now your outline has that critics consensus information in there so that's one way to uh, to get that in there after the fact okay wanted to show you that what else Okay, so movies, let's look at your animated artwork. So you see uh, you have animated posters. It has this uh, available already. If you wanted to go down here select 
animated art it will use uh, I believe this uses let me look at this again so your animated art is in metadata utils and this animated gifs you see so there's your that Star Wars poster that you saw so this add-on this module dot metadata utils I believe that is what is is showing you the options here for your different animated artwork uh, if somebody knows better than I uh, go ahead and post here on the uh, the forum to uh, let me know but I'm pretty sure that's the add-on that goes out and, and gets your animated artwork so if you wanted to change that you could and and then once you select your animated poster you can also select it a, a different animated uh, fan art as well okay so uh, one thing on your sets for animated uh, artwork for your sets let's switch to sets view <clears throat> excuse me you see that you just have a, a regular poster so what we're going to do is go to manage select artwork and we want poster where is I think I went to the wrong place here choose art maybe that's what I wanted to do yeah okay so that's what you, you select choose art and then it's gonna these are all uh, shows remote art there's a big list of them so instead of going scrolling through you go up and go down to the bottom there where you get browse and now you can select so there's the the uh, item folder and I want to go up actually let's go the other way go to videos and go to the set folder so the Star Wars collection and I want to select the animated poster and now you see you've got your animated poster and you can also assign uh, so I had an animated logo as that for as well so we'll go to manage choose art go down here to logo and we will browse and select the animated logo you see that's not showing right now but if you wanted to change this preference here clear art change it to logo now you see your animated logo displays and you can also display that if you change your key art so you have key art selected and then your key art logo will display that animated logo and then extra key art we'll scroll through that as well I found a uh, a uh, bug it's not on your sets that's not a problem but on your regular movies let's go back nope. let's go back to movies and I found there's just a a couple of uh, bugs here so the logo if you open let's open cases you see that the open case works but I found a bug if you are animated we have it they have this set to uh, key art right now so if I select let's let's choose uh, an animated we'll go back to the one that we already had assigned and we'll choose an animated fan art so you see you had this set to uh, key art but now it's displaying the animated poster 
So I fixed that. It'll be available on the uh, this update that comes with this video. If you go to extra key art, that works just fine, but it's not displaying the uh, the key art logo. So if you have an animated uh, poster, it doesn't show the logo on your extra key art. So that was just a little bug I found that that uh, I did fix. Like I said, it uh, it'll be in the uh, the update that goes along with this video. Okay, let's see what else can I think of here to talk about on movies. Okay, so let's change to the Cody Flix view. There's quite a few options here with Cody Flix. So, uh, as I said, your view layout, you see it's set to default, but you have you still have to select it to actually use that view. So you see I selected it again and it won't change, but it did add that to your settings.xml. So we'll turn on I want to turn off the outline and show full. So if you have that outline, since we added that critics consensus to uh, War of the Worlds, you see there it shows the uh, that's that's the critics consensus that the uh, the plot outline and then if you change that to full then you get the regular plot with the uh, the tagline there okay so we're going to sh change all this and some of this we may have to go out and uh, get artwork beep to scan if it if it's missing some of the artwork you see it's showing text instead of the logo even though I said to show logo so we'll show you an example of that and we'll turn on cases and we'll select case open cases show fan art shadow show the resume flag okay we go through some of these settings okay so now we're uh, like I said we're missing that logo so let's go out Actually, we'll uh, let's see if we'll just let a uh, run that solo mode and see if it finds. So it says 12, 12 artwork updated. So let's uh, let's get out of movies. Go back into movies, and now there's your logo. So if you see, if you find that some of your artwork is missing, just just go out there and, and run a solo scan with uh, with artwork beef and it should uh, pull that information in for you. Okay, trying to think of something else that I'm missing. I know I'm going to miss something. So I may, uh, if I think of it after I'm done with this section, I'll uh, I'll come back with another another piece of the video. And if I'm if there's something you can think of, like I said, go ahead and post in the comments here or post on the forum uh, so everybody can can get all all the information. I wanna I wanna make sure everybody gets uh, like I said close to 100% functional with this skin as, as as we can get them. So you can turn on discard. You can say discard front. Uh, the movie set cases you have this option. We'll go to a set. And show you what that looks like. So we'll have a five second delay. This enabled discs lets the uh, the discs uh, come out with the set. If you turn on that extra films, if it has more than uh, uh, maybe four, I think four is is uh, for the uh, movie set cases. It will automatically show four. And if you have any more than four movies, you need to turn on that extra films, and it will continue to show the rest of them after it shows that uh, that first group of four, I believe. So let's go to sets, and we'll show you. So we need to change our view from on sets over to Cody Flix, and we'll show you what that looks like. I know many are familiar with how this works, but you'll see the uh, the two movies come out, and as they missed episode four discard sometimes I've seen this before as well uh, for those that might be missing your uh, your artwork 
on this. Oh, and I don't think I forgot to. Uh, I think I know why it's doing that because we need to reload episode four. We didn't do that yet, I don't think. So we'll say yes. So we want this one right here. We'll let we'll let it scan this, and our work beef should go out. Okay, I didn't see it do at that time. Oh, yeah, there it goes right there. Okay, 18 artwork updated for that movie. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see if we get the uh, the disc art now for episode four. And we didn't. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, it's showing there. And you see it's got the animated poster now displaying correctly for that movie. Let's go out of here one more time. If this doesn't work, I'll show you how to uh, how to fix this little bug with yeah. Okay, so you see it's still it's still missing that artwork. So what has worked for me, and someone someone told me how to do this. I didn't figure this out, but it does work most of the time. So you want to manage, and then go to manage movie set. And what we're going to do is turn that off of the movie set and so we need to uh, go back to movies since I don't have sets enabled by default I forgot if it, it won't show uh, one movie as a set so we're going to do manage again and manage movie set and we'll say keep current set on that. Go to manage for this one. Manage movie set. Select movie set. So maybe I can add this. I should have turned on sets before I did this. Let's see if this works. Okay, now let's go back to sets. Okay, I think that worked. Let's see if we get two movies. We do. And we still don't get the artwork. Usually that works. Of course, when I show you an example, it doesn't work. Okay. Let's update just one time here and go back in there. That bugs me that that didn't work. So you see the artwork here. Nope. Let's try this one more time. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. But usually that works. And it sure didn't. Huh. Okay. Well some little bug there that should have worked okay I uh, can't think of anything else right now like I said I'll uh, I'll take another break if I can figure out this sets thing I'll uh, I'll show you what I did and I'll try to think of something else that I didn't cover here and I'll be back one more time before I uh, close this video out okay guys I I did fix that movie set. I'll show you now that it's working correctly. Both the movies will come out and you see both of the uh, the discard images. So what I had to do, I, you can't just change that to, uh, to sets up there on your view. You have to enable sets and most of you know how to do this in your media settings and then under videos go down here to sets and then I always turn on that include containing a single movie and then what I did we'll go back to movies the same thing I did before you uh, you have to go to manage and manage movie set and remove that movie and add it back in and then uh, that will fix your uh, your disc art that's not showing for uh, one movie so you remove that movie and add it back in, and then you get your discard. Okay. 
Uh, one thing I thought of as soon as I stopped the video. So let's go in. We'll just go in here and look at one of these. So if you go to your info page, you see up at the top, you don't see the title as text or logo, either one. Kind of, it's another setting that uh, that you have to select one of these uh, before it will show anything up there. So we'll turn on original title first, and I'll show you. You get your text as the title, and then we will turn on. And it turn so if you turn on logo as title, you see it disables show original titles. Whichever one you choose, it will turn off the other. So now, oh, we have to select the artwork before it will display. So we'll go through the rest of these down here, and most most everybody knows what all these settings do. So there's your audio and subtitle flags, uh, either text or logo, language flag style. You have a few rectangular, round, or square. Uh, your full screen top art. So this will display. Uh, what displays when you're playing a movie and in, in full screen and so now your uh, dialogue top art you have that as logo you can have your middle art as a uh, clear art and then you have a few options here on your disc art the way it comes in on the info page you can turn on your colored and detailed MPAA icons so we turned all those on so now let's take a look at the info page and now you see your logo, your detailed MPAA icon, and then you saw your disc art scroll in from the left. So that's how you get all of that information to display. Okay, something else I want to show you. So let's look at this information on this movie, on Star Wars. So I, uh, I just went in and added the IMDB rating and the vote information. So that, if you remember uh, before, when we looked at this movie, that that was missing. So I went in and added that to the NFO file. So you see uh, Metacritics. It's showing a rating of 90, but it says no critics because there's nothing in the NFO file for that movie. So let's, let's uh, fix that, and I'll show you. Uh, the only way I know how to fix that after you have scanned the movie into your library. So I'm going to show you what I do. If uh, someone else has a better way besides just re deleting the movie and adding it to your back to your library, this is the only other way that I know of to uh, get that information that you if you've added information to your NFO file after you've scanned it and then exported to uh, create your NFOs. So we're going to copy this Metacritic uh, rating info from War of the Worlds. And we're going to put it in here. And then we want to go to Metacritic.com and we'll search for that movie. Oh, there it was right there. We'll let it go ahead and search. And there it is, episode four. Here we go. Come on. Load it up. Okay. So what we're going to put in there is this user score information. So you see 8.8. .8. So let's go back. And we'll change the Metacritic for Star Wars to 8.8. .8. And then votes. You see you have uh, a mixture. You have positive, mixed, and negative votes. So we'll add those up here real quick. There are those who stand 1800. for ready, okay, so. fight for what matters. This is the Let's go, you Do you have what it takes? Okay, so 1800. 
and we'll save the NFO file. Okay, so here is how we're going to get that information to show on Metacritic. So we want to back out of here. You want to go to your files. Go to files, and this is the directory that I added that have my movie has my movies. So you want to edit source and just say okay. You're going to change the information provider to local information only. Say okay. Say yes. Let it clean the database. Of course, if you have a you know a lot of movies, this is going to take a little while to uh, to go through and and uh, scan for all your local information and then I'll show you that that information is is in there now it's scanned so we'll go back oh, go back into the movie and look at information now so there's your Metacritic your 8.8 .8 and then the 1800 critics that we just added so you know go ahead and get all your NFOs if you have a huge library and you don't have all this rating information, I know it, it's painful, but you get, go in and edit all those NFOs, get your ratings right the way you want it for all those, and then do what I just did. Let's go. I don't want to do that. Go back here. Edit your source and make it local and let it scan your library. Then when you're done, go back and choose the movie database as your information provider. And it's going to scan your library one more time. That way you're back to the movie database as your scraper. When you add new movies, it'll go out and uh, and scrape for uh, info on, the, on your new movies. So you can see, we'll go back in, look at Star Wars, and it's retained that Metacritic information. So, like I said, that that's the only way that I have figured out to, uh, to make this work after the fact. If you added rating information to your NFOs. I know uh, others have used uh, some media managers to, uh, to do that. I've never messed with that. I just do it one at a time with my movies. And uh, I, I'll get them all straight and scanned in, and it'll show correctly. So that's how I do it. Uh, we'll move on to the uh, next section. Okay, so something else I want to show you, uh, the colored media icons and your colored studio icons. So you can see I've got the default. Everything is uh, just the standard uh, media flags. So we're going to go out and turn the colored uh, media flags and studio icons on. So we're going to go to skin settings and on icons and images we're going to select our media flags select the other uh, colored media flags and then show colored studio icon. Go back to movies and you can see now it's displaying the uh, the colored media icons and your colored studio. If you're not seeing a uh, a studio, you can uh, there may there may not be an image available, or it may be a, uh, a secondary uh, studio, not the primary studio. So uh, what you can do with the library editor, you can edit data and then edit your studio and then just manually type in whatever the uh, the primary uh, studio was and then most of the time you're going to get a flag to uh, display it may take a little while once you put that in it, it may not immediately change you may have to uh, even close Cody and open it back up but uh, give it some time and uh, you'll get your your studio flag should show on there so something else just wanted to show you real quick Okay, let's go into music, and I want to show you your uh, your music player views, uh, your different layouts that you have. So 
we'll just uh, select a song here and I haven't made I haven't made any changes yet to the uh, full screen so we'll go ahead and start this let it load the lyrics it isn't hard okay. to find let's pause that so there you can see those are uh, the default lyrics that you have this is uh, the default layout version 1 so you can uh, bring up your context menu and activate your uh, video lyrics so you can see it switched to that now there is still this has been a uh, oh, let's pause that. so if you go to your settings and so that's layout no oh, that was layout 3 okay so we'll change to uh, let's go to layout 7 and I want to show you so you see the uh, the mp3 icon under the disc art it should have loaded the uh, the cover art there as well we'll have to get out and uh, restart that to display that but you can see your colored media icons that you installed that uh, is why you had to download that version for my repo so you can get that mp3 image to show for uh, for style 7 there and so when you change a layout like that there's been a a a bug I guess it's a bug ever since video lyrics was introduced if you change your uh, your layout you go back out of the uh, the settings uh, screen your video lyrics stop or your regular lyrics stop so the only way to uh, to get those back after you change a layout is to just stop the song and restart it and you should get your uh, your lyrics back there you go let's pause it again so now your lyrics are back you see your uh, the the cut the album art is displayed there so just a few things I've looked at this video lyric and the, the lyrics disappearing problem I, I cannot fix it. I don't know what the problem is, why it quits displaying when you change a layout. I pretty much just moved on. I just know that when you change it, just stop the, stop the song and restart it, and it'll come back. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, you can also, I know I've showed this before, so let's, oh, let's pause the song. So if you go to the 3D layout, if you have your your spine and your back image downloaded, it will display that. There you see you uh, you get your back image there and you see the spine both. So that will work on your uh, your 3D media player or your music player. So I just wanted to show you that as well. Okay, uh, we'll move on to the next part. Okay, before I sign off, I just want to go over. Uh, I have a few additions and fixes and one maintenance note to uh, discuss that goes along with this uh, newest version. So the first edition we've already covered a couple times, the, the new themes that are available. We have black, blue, orange, and purple. All of those uh, will be included with the, uh, the new update that I post, uh, the download I post on the, uh, on the forum. Uh, the next edition was for the uh, the reboot to internal option that I added on the previous update so it was displaying I had it set to display on Android OS uh, I changed that to be Linux OS because it was displaying on the uh, the Android systems so we uh, I changed that to just be on Linux so the Libre Elect users uh, should be and whoever's using it on Linux will be the only ones uh, that should see that and thanks to the bow for suggesting that I add that code to the uh, to the reboot to internal. I added some code uh, to the weather page. It will now display the text glow and the text shadow. So we'll go to weather. You see up top there at the location. It's a it's a cold day in any town USA, but we've got the uh, the uh, shadow and the glow will display now for that. I added uh, Chrome 
launcher for the LibreElect users. Uh, again, that will only display for uh, Linux OS. And uh, the user, I think it's yeah, KUPO91, he asked uh, if I could add that. And I'm going to add, there's a few more uh, launchers that he wanted me to add. Uh, and I'm going to uh, try to add that on the next update, get all those available for, for the uh, LibreElect users. But you can uh, launch Chrome now. That's another option that you can put on your, your main menu. Okay, the fixes. Uh, I added some code for the clear logo to display in the right list music view, so that was not displaying. There was some code there to display it, but it wasn't complete. So we'll go to right list. So now you see down at the bottom it will display the uh, clear logo. This was a, a little different on Leia. There was code on Krypton, but it wasn't displaying either, so I fixed both Krypton and Leia. I had to change, I had to make a little more, uh, a, a bigger change to uh, Leia to, to get this to display, but it is working. And thanks to Beercade, I believe is how you pronounce his username, thanks for reporting that bug. I uh, changed the time when stacked is enabled in the top menu for the showcase view on movies. Let's go to movies. And we'll switch to the showcase view. Okay, so let's look up here at top. So stacked. When that's enabled, you see uh, how they're uh, kind of layered to the left and right. If you turn that off, then they all they line up in similar fashion but you turn that stacked on and uh, changes changes the display there so when we did that if you selected that option it was a uh, it was fairly uh, kind of jerky movement switching before and this is on a VM so you can't really tell that much of a difference it is it is smoother uh, I had to change a uh, little some of the uh, views the animation uh, timing and the user KOLDTOFT requested that uh, I take a look at that so that should be a, a lot smoother transition here when you when you go between movies now on the showcase stack view okay I also added code for live TV if you don't have any channels uh, loaded it would it would still display the uh, the library status as empty it would just have the channels and the hyphen there so I added a little code to where if you don't have any channels loaded that will not display at all okay uh, let's go back to movies and go to right list Okay, so if you had your uh, key art displayed, let's turn on key art. Change this to key art. Show the logo. So if you had your setup like this with the key art, the key art logo displayed, the uh, even if you had open cases turned off, like it is now, the uh, the key art logo was the animation was still working. It was opening up and closing even if you had open cases turned off. So I fixed that. I uh, updated the startup XML. The so if you set a startup window to display, we'll go into settings and I'll show you. I never used that, so I was not aware of how that worked. But right here on startup so your startup window you have a few options here to uh, select I have weather set right now so when you set that when Cody first starts up it will go to whatever window you s select there and that was not working I want to thank alarmed he uh, reported that bug 
So I'll show you. Let's go ahead and shut down and we'll start it back up. And I'll show you now what it looks like. The weather takes a few seconds on this VM to load up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long here. So you see it's it went straight to the weather screen. There you go. So that's what it does when you set a, a startup window. And then you just escape and it will go back to your main menu. Again, thanks to Alarmed for reporting that bug. And the last fix, I updated List 3D and List 3D version 2 so that will now uh, display all your fan art. So uh, let's go to uh, let's go back to three days to kill. Okay, so do I have those turned on? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go. So list 3D. There's your fan art. This was this is the uh, the AB fan art that I have enabled. So that is now working on uh, list 3D as well as list 3D version 2. All right, and that's all the fixes. Uh, the maintenance, one last thing. Let's go to movies. So if you added a, a playlist to your uh, well, your widget view. So I have a audio, an audio playlist added as a widget. It was not displaying; it was displaying the disc art, but the disc art was was uh, raised up. It was a little bit too high, so I lowered that disc art. And give it a second here. Hopefully, the disc art will display. Come on. There it is. I had the menu selected so it hides the disc card. Okay, so there I repositioned. I just moved it down a little so it uh, it looks similar to the uh, the other widget views. Uh, I'm still working on this uh, widget problem that we have with uh, the albums. Uh, I'm not giving up. I'll, f I'll figure it out here at some point, hopefully. But uh, at least the playlist, you get your uh, your disc art on your playlist. Okay, that's it, and I'll uh, be closing this video out here. Okay, I think I have covered everything that I can think of. Uh, if there's something that I forgot about, guys, uh, go ahead and post uh, in the comments below, post on the forum, and we get enough requests for uh, things that I forgot about. I'll, uh, I'll make another video to uh, like a part two to go with this. I know this is probably going to be a, a uh, I haven't timed it all out yet. Look at the time. It's, it's probably going to be an hour video, I would imagine. So, uh, I, like I said, I'm going to have links to certain areas. It'll take you installing uh, Leia, uh, setting up your music, setting up your movies. There'll be jumps, links in the description to jump to those different sections of the video so you don't have to listen, listen to me ramble through all these different sections. But, uh, Thanks for thanks for sticking with me on the, this extended how-to video. Uh, appreciate everybody's uh, comments, and God bless. Have a good night.